Hi, hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So looking at the US there, we had a big turnaround again yesterday, trading above uh, 18,112, uh, getting quite close to that um, kind of higher end levels right here, the tips of these candles right here, around about 18,174, and obviously you've got that, that all time high there. Uh, we're in about 18,290. So I moved to the top side, very volatile session yesterday. It was down much, much lower, only to reverse later on in the session. Um, good earnings from IBM uh, has, has helped kind of push that back up. They've increased their dividend by the uh, highest in the last five years. And uh, the Dow now, the US dairy has just began to uh, float around. It's not really doing a huge amount now uh, after May, making some good headway. Uh, late on in last night's session. So most other global equity markets are either down or drifting lower. Uh, today is the FOMC uh, committee meeting, uh, expected to have the statement of the potential interest rates at uh, 7 p.m. Obviously they're not going to raise rates today but they might give guidance uh, as to their viewpoint on where US rates are going to go in the future. So um, looking at the UK 100, again another volatile session yesterday, uh, closing well off the session lows. Um, but we have drifted down a little bit lower this morning, so 69.64 is the potential support level to be aware of. We are a little bit away from there just now, but that also coincides quite closely with the 21 and 55 period SMA. Other technicals are relatively neutral, albeit we did obviously have that sell signal on the slow stochastic there um, earlier on uh, in the week. So moving on to Japan 225, um, drifting lower again, hugging that 21 period SMA. Other technicals are neutral, sans the slow stochastic. Um, still in this uh, kind of channel formation, you could arguably be looking at adding a potential support level, um, a potential broken support level. So this was resistance now acting as support. It's not on the, on the wrong side of that again. We're in about 20,087. Uh, and we're a little bit away from there right now. Thursday does give the uh, another Bank of Japan meeting, which might talk a little bit more about the stimulus measures out there as well. So quickly moving on to dollar yen. Dollar yen, not much just to talk about. What, it's trading below 119 right now. Um, US dollar losing a little bit of uh, a little bit of momentum right there. Next potential support 117 spot 36. So moving on to West Texas crude. Um, still consolidating just above $54.85. You've got crude oil inventory due today at 3.30 UK time. And then if we have a quick look at gold, uh, gold has, uh, has been, continued to jump up as that interest rate decision obviously looks a little bit further away. Mixed data coming out of the US, blah, blah, blah. 12.18 is the next potential resistance level. And then finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. So Euro dollar flirting with one spot 10 a number of times overnight. I hadn't broken through it yet. It's uh, edging a little bit higher this morning. One spot 10.98 is a longer term potential resistance. And then finishing up with GBP USD, it's been going great guns, even though um, UK GDP came out a little bit weaker than, uh, than, than, than expected. We're still a uh, stone's throw away from one spot 54, 24, uh, which is a resistance level from all the way back, uh, potential support slash resistance level from all the way back in 2013. Uh, and the rally in, in cable has been quite exceptional, to be quite honest. Most of the technicals are massively overbought, but no yet signal yet, yet to sell. But one spot 424 could be quite an interesting level to look at. So economic data-wise, a load of stuff coming out later on. You've got German CPI, you've got US GDP, you've got US housing data, the petroleum data, and of course, don't forget about that FOMC uh, policy decision and the statement at 7 p.m. UK time. Um, the statement is widely expected to be quite boring with a uh, similar rhetoric to the, to the previous uh, committee meeting session, uh, but people will be pouring over that for details uh, as to what the Fed is looking to do next. But obviously based on the previous uh, economic data, it's probably not going to do anything anytime soon. Uh, so let's see what happens. Fast forwarding on to Thursday, you've got um, German retail sales and employment data. Eurozone CPI and employment data to look forward to as well. So join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.